Hey y'all, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. Today is March 23rd, I think. It is the 23rd, right? Yeah, it's Saturday. Um, my dad and I are going to be working on building a new chicken coop today, so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I'm really excited about building our new chicken coop and we're just going to be using materials that we already have, mostly. Um, I'm probably going to have to like buy some wire and hinges and stuff. Um, but as far as like the wood and everything, we're going to try and use things that we already have. And my grandmother that passed away last year, we were able to get some of the materials that she had um, on this like carport thing that she had at her house. And so that's really sentimental because the roofing material is off of her house. So yeah, we have a lot of memories under that roof. So it's really sentimental that I'm able to use some of the materials from her house on the chicken coop. And um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. So that's something that we're going to try and work on today. The horse trees are by the front door. Ma'am. Hey, Dad. Ma'am. That is the front door. Where is it? Like inside. Oh. Okay. Lila's about to drive Topper in the buggy, so I'm trying to help her get this on him. Nor, can you put my phone over there on that table so it's under the shed? What happened to the umbrella? She mean, oh, I don't know. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, it just connects on the it end. It connects the thing. It has a thing on the end. That seems tight. Yeah, look. Well, gnats are terrible. If you want an icy, you want an icy. I do want an icy, but right now is not the time. Well, I, I, if someone drives me there, I'll get you an icy. I drink one too. I know I want one too. I can go put your coke in the freezer. Not yet. That ain't the same. Yeah, I just um. I know that. Second one. Is it hard because it's new? Yes, yeah, it's because the new lover. Mm -hmm. Who's out there? Paco and. Uh, oh, Hit of that rust even matches the barn. <laughs> I love it. Let me drive him first. Let me just make sure he's acting okay. Whoa. Good boy. We need to close his feet. Good boy. Oh boy. No, 
yeah, the tires on the left. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Mama put her tomato plants outside and um, she started these from her own seeds that she saved. So I'm sure we're going to have plenty of tomatoes. She's always been really, really good at growing tomatoes. So um, 
we'll definitely have plenty of tomatoes. And this over here she transplanted. This is um, a dynamite red, I think it's called, crepe myrtle. Okay, well, I was about to bathe the minis and Levi. Um, I got these hands-on gloves the other day. Um, I ordered them from State Line Tech, and I absolutely love them. They are, like, amazing. So she's going to use this to bathe with. Um, and Daddy's working on the chicken coop. I'm so excited. Today is the second day. He likes having his face washed. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. I'm coming, Mama.
Levi's turn. <laughs> okay, Mama's making her hummingbird food. There's four cups of water. Yeah. A cup of sugar. Yeah, you gotta boil the water. When the water comes to a boil, put the sugar. Then you add the sugar and just stir it till it's well combined. And then turn off the fire and let it completely cool. Clean. And then I use that funnel to fill up the hummingbird feeder. But don't use any dye. Yeah. You gotta use a red. hummingbird feeder that's already red. Got a red tint or something. You gotta go out. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. You just want to stir it to it. Well, this all. And you just wait till it's completely cool to put it in the feeder. Yeah. So after you just make sure it's all dissolved, just turn your fire off. And then just stir it really good and let it dissolve. And when it completely cools, then you can put it in your bird feeder with your funnel. That's easy. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Okay, Mama put the um, hummingbird feeder feed, not feeder feed, in the um, freezer so it'll cool faster. I'm gonna put the hummingbird in the freezer. <laughs> This looks amazing. Okay, Lila and I are about to take Topper for a ride. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait on me. Do what? What'd you say? This piece is not coming up. I don't look great. Right. Let this. it go. It's okay. It's not supposed to be tight. It's just like a, uh, it's kind of like a wither strap. 
Do you want me to drive him first to make sure he's acting sure. okay? Or do you... mm. Ooh. <laughs> Take my leg off. <laughs> okay, no, hold it. Let me try to scoot over here. Falco's like, oh, what are you doing? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Good boy. Hey y'all, so it is now the third day of this vlog. Today is March 25th. Yeah, it's the 25th of March and it's Monday. And um, I'm out here at the barn. I'm gonna show y'all the progress that we got done on the chicken coop this weekend. And um, I'm really excited about it. Okay, so here is the barn. This is where we had the horse trailer before, if y'all remember um, where I had my feed in the horse trailer and everything. I still have my hay in the horse trailer, but right now my feed and tack is in the tack and feed room in the barn. Eventually, we are going to be building a tack and feed room. Um, it's going to take time, but eventually we are going to be building a tack and feed room back there. But the chicken coop is right here. It's going to be off the barn. Um, so it's going to be really close to the feed and everything. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. This is like the chicken coop that we've been wanting to build for years. Um, so I'm really excited and the majority of my chickens are going to be in here. So it's going to be our biggest chicken coop. So this weekend we got up the roof and I guess the framework is done. Um, or almost done anyway. And my dad started putting up the wire. And... This entire thing is going to be the run, except for this back here. And I'm really sorry for all this junk we have to clean up. Um, starting at this 4x4 back, which I think is about 8 feet. I think that's 8 feet. Yeah, I think that's 8 feet. Um, from here back, this part right here is going to be closed in. Um, and it's going to be the coop part. And then everything back here, this way, is going to be the run. And the entire thing is 24 by 16. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the right dimensions of it. There's going to be a door here with walls on both sides. Um... And I'm going to have the nesting boxes in here 
and the roost and everything. That's where they will be at night and everything. I'm really, really excited. This is where most of my laying hens are going to be. And all these hens are free range. Um, this is going to be their coop. But they're still going to be free ranging. This is just going to be where they stay like at night. And where they'll go for bad weather and everything like that. They're still going to be free ranging because I love um, having them free range. Over here is where we are going to be building a couple Bantam chicken coops um, for some silkies and frizzles. And that's the old chicken coop over there. I'm probably still going to be using those for ducks and some other Bantam chickens that I have. And um, so yeah, we're super, super excited. I ended up having to buy um, some materials from Home Depot. Um, I had to get the wire. Um, I had to get some 2x4s and 1x4s, so I did have to get some materials from Home Depot. Um, and then we also had to get some more tin because previously we were just making it um, come until, you know, where that tin is. Um, but we decided to make it bigger and we decided to do the entire length of the barn. So we had to go and get four sheets of tin. And then we had to get some 2x4s and 1x4s um, to do that. Um, so I did have to buy some materials, but as far as the 4x4s, we already had those boards, we already had the roofing material we were able to get from my great-grandmother's house, and like I told y'all earlier, so that's really sentimental. Um, we have so many memories under this roof, um, so I'm so happy that we were able to use that. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. The sun comes up on this side, so it gets sun on both sides on um, different parts of the day um, but it's part it's mostly in the shade which is going to be really good for the chickens um, so yeah I'm really really excited about it so yeah we're really really excited about it um, I cannot wait for it to be finished and everything once it's done I will be doing like a chicken coop tour for y'all and everything but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because um, I think we have to go to the grocery store and I have a bunch of mucking to do and stuff um, but yeah I love y'all so much and I thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon Bye.